I always wanted to bottle feed at some point. You don't really get time to prepare for it. You know, like you can say, oh yeah, I'm, I want to do it, but it's like they're here ready to be fed. Can you help? Yeah. <laughs> My name is Lexi and I have been with Rough Start Rescue for about two and a half years now. In the spring, the amount of requests that we get in every day for kittens is crazy. I know there was one week in particular where we had uh, over 60 kittens being requested to come into the rescue. We took in, uh, in the spring, two bottle-fed babies named Chip and Shay. They were orphaned, abandoned. They didn't know when their next feeding was going to be. I literally walked in and heard them screaming. And they didn't know when their next feeding was going to be. Um, hey. Hey. <gasps> you tired? You hungry? We don't always have enough people to, to save all these babies. I knew that I had to help at that point. A bottle-fed baby, uh, whether it's dogs or cats, is an orphaned baby or maybe the mom's not able to produce uh, milk for the babies and so it's when they're still supposed to be nursing and they are, you know, instead being supplemented with formula. I never realized how little sleep <laughs> you get with them, but it was truly amazing. They went to work with me. They, I slept in the bathroom a few nights so that I didn't have to move so far <laughs> for feedings. Um, it was a truly ama amazing experience. Look at me, a messy kitten. It was <laughs> very awesome. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Chip. Okay. Chip was the, he was the little guy that had few issues from the beginning. He didn't like to eat as much as Shay did. to do everything for him. Come on, guys. Are you playing? Hey, here we go. He, Chip did pass away on Father's Day of this year. Uh, you know, we gave it our all with Chip. We exhausted all of those resources, and he did have an underlying condition. So through the bottle feeding experience with both Chip and Shay, the connection that you make with these babies is really quite remarkable. I absolutely fell in love with both of them and after losing Chip and seeing how much they loved each other, I, I couldn't part with Shay. So Shay is a part of our family now. <laughs> <laughs> he is a foster failure and he is just a total goofball. <laughs> In honor of Give to the Max Day, please consider donating to Rough Start Rescue. It would mean the world to Chip and Shay, and then the world could have more Chip and Shays because of your donation.